John Napier, a 16th century Scottish mathematician. He produced solid models, which became known as Napier's rods, or Napier's bones. In this early set, the diagonals go down instead of up, so the tens come below the units. Each bone is the multiplication table for a single number. This 20th century replica has a multiplier rod fixed permanently in place. For this multiplication, just three rods are needed, the three, the five, and the seven. Reading the diagonals across the four line gives one, four, two, eight. Add a zero and you've multiplied by 40. Next, read the diagonals across the seven line, two, four, nine, nine. It takes just one more addition to get the answer. Napier was also famous for the invention of logarithms. To multiply two numbers, say 9 and 10, just add the logs together. The answer is in another bit of the table. The new logarithm corresponds to the number 90. Like the astrolabe a thousand years before, logarithms were much used on ships at sea. The reason tables were important at the time was that England was a leading maritime nation and ships relied on determining their position at sea from astronomical navigation, that is, determining their position from the position of the stars. They had to take readings to do that and had to use tables to perform mathematical calculations to determine their longitude. The problem was that increasingly people found there were errors in tables. Um, a random selection, supposedly, uh, in the 1830s uh, and 40s of 40 volumes of printed tables revealed 3,700 known errors. The problem, of course, was not the known errors, those you could compensate for and get correct values. The problem was the insecurity of the unknown errors. Removing these errors became the lifelong task of the 19th century English polymath, Charles Babbage. The story really starts with John Herschel, uh, Babbage's lifelong friend, the famous astronomer. He and Babbage were sitting at the Astronomical Society in 1821, checking tables. These are tables calculated by hand, and they were quite appalled at the discrepancies between the two sets of tables, the expected value and the calculated value. And Babbage, as it were, clasps his hand to his brow and says, I wish to God that these calculations had been executed by steam. Thank <laughs> you.